Hello everyone. So this is my look at the US dollar index and the major currencies for the week ahead. This is for the week commencing. Let's have a look. Week commencing uh, Monday the 3rd of June. There we go, 2019. So having a look at that US dollar basket, I've got a daily weekly and monthly uh, going in clockwise fashion here and we can see there's definite struggles with uh, 98 as a level of resistance. Uh, we've also got a strong level of uh, previous resistance which has shown to be support. So what I'm looking for this weekend, we've got a lower high. If we break the previous low here uh, and break through that 97 level, then I would expect obviously this weaker US dollar to continue. Uh, at the moment there is uh, very little much of it, well there isn't much of a clear direction and certainly it is showing some strong uh, resistance there. So this is going to just uh, provide me with uh, some caution. I'm just uh, as a heads up there. If I have a look at euro against the dollar, same thing. There's definitely appears to be some good support here, uh, close to that uh, 1.12 level, uh, 1.11 level as well. And uh, looking to see, there's uh, again no clear direction here in terms of the trend. Okay, there's there's no fixed trend, uh, and uh, there may ultimately be a breakout that occurs. So basically, if I see over the week, if I see price heading back down towards these lows, uh, it is implying a potential breakouts over the next uh, five to ten days where we might break out to the downside and therefore see the US dollar index climb to the upside. Then having a look at cable, GBP against the US dollar, a little bit overextended here, it's showing some signs potentially of wanting to do a bit of a retracement just because it's having to come down to historical uh, support levels here and uh, it's been running for a while so GBP has been very very weak uh, in the last few weeks and last uh, last most recent months and uh, so that looks potentially like that wants to take a bit of a breather from that and just do a bit of a weekly retracement looking here at Aussie uh, Australian dollar against US dollar we're actually now potentially going into a bit of an uptrend this supports the idea of a weaker US dollar looking at Kiwi uh, against the US dollar also have a higher low here and if we break this previous high there may well be some really good opportunities shorter term opportunities in a weaker US dollar and stronger Kiwi dollar certainly looking at that uh, weekly chart uh, it's overextended away from the moving averages and we've got some bullish candles coming in so showing a potential for a swing low and a potential move up there towards uh, six 6.650 potentially up there so up right up towards these monthly pivots and so that looks uh, might provide some shorter term uh, opportunities to buy then having a look at dollar yen which finished very much to the downside supporting here the idea of a weaker US dollar so we've got we've either got no clear signals also for a sign of a weaker US dollar again here dollar Swissy showing a confirmed downtrend so this is not a complete uh, inverse correlation of a euro dollar this is still maintaining its downtrend, supporting the idea of a weaker US dollar. And we can see here that dollar CAD is definitely encountering some very, very strong historical resistance there, uh, attempting to break out of that. But also we have a weaker CAD. So this is why we've potentially still got an uptrend here on the weekly and the monthly, simply because the Canadian dollar is still weaker than the US dollar. So overall, looking at the majors, taking that into account, we either have no clear trend or we generally have signs of a weaker US dollar this coming week. So really just coming back to that dollar basket I'll be looking to see if we break the lows here and then start to consider shorting opportunities now we will then have a downtrend um, overall though at this point in time I'm going to just be a little bit cautious especially around any high impact economic news events this coming week thank you very much